Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we're going to be trying out the new Kiko Milano. These are called You Make Me Matte <laughs> lipsticks. They run for $11. They came in six different shades and I got my hands on four different lip colors so we're going to be trying them out today. And they're supposed to be really creamy, the formula, really pigmented with a matte finish and eight hour wear on our lips, which I'm really excited to try out and just see how they look on. And if you guys didn't know, they're supposed to also have a raspberry scent to them. So I'm really excited to, you know, smell and try them out just because most of the products you guys know they smell like vanilla or they have a minty refreshing feeling or it has like a tropical pina colada type of scent so I'm really excited to try these out I hope you guys enjoyed today's video everything will be linked down below please don't forget to like share and subscribe it does help out my channel and as always let's jump on in and try these out so diving into our first lip shade you guys I do want to mention that I looked all around the packaging and the box for the name of each of these lip products and I can't figure out what they're called, which I find it to be really odd just because on the Ulta website where I purchase these lip products, you guys, there's names for each every each and every single one of these lip products. So I'm really confused and I don't want to name them incorrectly. So I'm just going to go by the numbering system that's on the box just because I just, just don't want to get it wrong. You know what I mean? So for the first lip shade, this is lip shade number two. And this is basically, and I like the packaging. It definitely reminds me of a lip crayon. That is for sure. Swatching in the back of my hand, the consistency of this matte lipstick, it definitely is creamy, but at the same time matte, it has a pretty finish. I really like this lip shade, to be honest. I was going to be a little bit more of a, like a bright coral lip shade, but it's really, really pretty. It looks like a pretty everyday type of lip color, which I love. So you guys, Let's go ahead and try on number two. Now for lip shade number one. This is more like a dusty, mauve lip shade, to be really honest, at least. At least it does to me, <laughs> but I personally really love the neutral undertone to it. I feel like depending on the lip liner, you can dress it up or dress it down just to give it a little bit more of a pigmentation or more of a mood that depending on what you're looking for. You can even top this over, top this off with a gloss, but I feel like it's a really pretty wearable lip shade. It's not too pigmented and bold, but at the same time neutral enough that, you know, you can get away with it and wear it, you know, any time of the day. <laughs> so you guys, let's go and try on lip shade number one. I would describe this one to be a mix of pink and rosy undertones to it just because it is a bright but at the same time it's like a really pretty wearable lip shade this is perfect for the spring summertime and I personally really like the color tone to it it's definitely different than anything that I currently feel like I have in my collection um, but it's really really nice I do want to share with you guys so far by removing these swatches with a makeup removing wipe I do find myself kind of struggling to remove this lip shades these lip shades off of the swatch off of my hand so I do want to mention that just because I do find it to be somewhat long-lasting the formula just because I'm having to really work to remove this lip shade so I wanted to share that with you guys so let's dive on in and try on for lip shade at number five I would describe this lip color to be a classic red and I feel like this is a lip shade that everyone should have in their collection or at least something similar to it there's so many different undertones when it comes to red lips but um, I personally really love this one I feel like this will complement many different skin complexions I feel like this is perfect to wear on a date night or for the holidays I just feel like if there's a special occasion it just throw on a smoky eye and a bold lip and you're good to go. So you guys, let's get and try on lip shade number five. All right, you guys, we have tried on all four matte lipsticks. Now let's go ahead and talk about them. But before we dive in, I want to share one piece of information that I can't believe slipped my mind because it was one of the first things that I noticed when swatching these matte lipsticks, and it is the raspberry scent. It smells exactly like a raspberry. It smells so good. It's light scented. It's not strong and overpowering. And I personally really love the scent. It's very unique, very different than what I have come across. And as for the formula of these matte lipsticks, you guys, it's really 
really nice. It glides on really nicely. It's creamy without feeling over drying on your lips. Like you feel like you have something on, but it's powdery and it's just really nice. I personally really like it. I didn't notice any flakiness or any patchiness applying these lip colors, especially this bold red lip. And so far, personally, really like it. Like if you're looking for something really affordable that's gonna be creamy, that's gonna be matte, I highly suggest you to try these out and see if this is something that you would like, especially if these are lip shades that you would, you know, see yourself wearing. As for all four lip shades, my favorite lip shade was shade number one. It's really pretty. It was like that dusty, mauve lip shade. And I personally really like it. It has a really interesting pigmentation to it that I can see myself actually re-wearing this. So as for the pricing, I feel like $11 is a really good price. I feel like it's affordable enough that people can pick one up and try it out for themselves and add it to their collection. There are so many different coupons, especially through Ulta. If you haven't tried them out, I highly suggest you try them out just because you can save a good little coin by using a coupon. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you guys have any questions whatsoever, comment down below. Ask away and I'll do my best to answer your questions. Please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know out of all four lip shades, which lip shade was your favorite. And as always, I will see you guys all in my next video. I love you guys so, so much. Bye!